The Tragedy of Macbeth This is one of the most popular play written by the famous author Shakespeare. This is a story of Macbeth and his wife, who committed horrible act to fulfill their ambition, and at last paid the price for that. The story is evolved in Scottish background. Once upon a time, in a land called Scotland, there lived a brave and loyal soldier named Macbeth. He had fought valiantly in battles, earning the respect of King Duncan and his people. Macbeth was content with his life, serving his king and protecting his kingdom. One day, Macbeth and his friend Banquo were on their way home from a victorious battle. As they journeyed through a dark and eerie forest, they encountered three mysterious witches. The three witches were dancing around a cauldron. They made some strange prophecies about Macbeth and Banquo. The first with chanted, Macbeth, hail to thee, Thane of Glamis. Macbeth, hail to thee, Thane of Cawdor. Macbeth was taken aback by these strange pronouncements. He was already the Thane of Glamis, but he was confused about being named the Thane of Cawdor. The second witch made even more surprising prophecy that Macbeth will be the future king of the Scotland. Now that was not expected. How come he be the king while the King Duncan and his sons are still alive? Macbeth could not believe on what he had just heard. The third witch had made a prophecy about Banquo. She cried that Banquo would become the father of the future King of Scotland. However, he will never be the king himself. The three witches got disappeared after making those prophecies. Just then, Macbeth and Banquo saw one of the messengers of King Duncan approaching them. They couldn't believe what they have heard from him. The messenger conveyed a message that King Duncan has awarded Macbeth as Thane of Cawdor. This is what the witch just told them. It becomes true. Now this has made Macbeth think about the second prophecy. Can that be true as well? This thought sparked a spark of ambition within him, and he began to consider the idea of becoming king. His friend Banquo realized his thought and advises him to be careful. He warned Macbeth that evil forces may mislead the person and force them to do wrong deeds. But the idea of becoming king consumed Macbeth's mind and he began to contemplate the possibility of fulfilling the witch's final prophecy. As the messenger also said that the King Duncan would be the guest of Macbeth for that evening, Macbeth sent a message to his wife Lady Macbeth about the prophecies and the arrival of King Duncan. Lady Macbeth was even more ambitious, and she has decided to go to any extent to see his husband as the King of Scotland. With the encouragement of his ambitious wife Lady Macbeth, Macbeth's desires turned into a dangerous obsession. Lady Macbeth devised a plan to murder King Duncan and take the throne for themselves. Although Macbeth was hesitant at first, his ambition and the persuasions of his wife drove him to commit the dreadful act. That night after the dinner, they killed King Duncan and blamed it on the king's guards. Next day morning, there was a chaos in the city. The king was murdered. People got panicked. All of a sudden, it appears as if no one is safe. Malcolm and Donalbane, the two sons of King Duncan, and the true heir of the throne, fled the country in order to save their life. As agreed by all the nobles, Macbeth was throned as the next king of Scotland, and with that, the second prophecy also got true. But after becoming the king, Macbeth could not live peacefully. He was afraid of Banquo, and so he had cleverly arranged for his murder. Not stopping there, he has started killing all those who appeared as threat to him. Thyatira was considered as reign of terror in Scotland. One day, Macbeth has arranged a feast for his nobles. He saw Banquo's ghost there. It was simmered with blood all over its body. Macbeth got too afraid by that and started loosing his mental stability. Guilt and paranoia soon started to eat away at Macbeth's sanity. He became increasingly suspicious of everyone around him, fearing that they might discover his dark secret. To secure his position, he continued down a treacherous path of more murders, ordering the deaths of anyone he perceived as a threat. Being so confused and stressed, he again visited the witch to know about the future. The witch advised him to be careful with Macduff. She also told Macbeth that he is in danger only if Burnham Wood comes to his castle. 
Macbeth took the witch's warning casually knowing that Burnham Wood, being a forest, cannot move to his castle. Still, he had to kill Macduff to avoid any threat. Another reign of terror began. Macduff's wife and children got murdered. Macduff, a nobleman of Scotland and the Thane of Fife, has gathered an army with Duncan's son, Malcolm. On the other side, Lady Macbeth was also getting nightmare about the horrible act they have done. She saw his hands simmered with blood all the time. She got mentally depressed and finally took her own life. On the other side, Macduff has ordered his army to carry a branch of tree from Burnham Wood with them so the enemy could not estimate their actual strength. When Macbeth heard about Macduff's army marching towards his castle, he possibly knew his end is very near. He was feeling guilt about all the horrible crimes he had committed. But it was too late. Macbeth got killed in the battle, and years later, Banquo's son became the King of Scotland. And that's how all the prophecies made by the witches came true.